What's up, rock stars? Mr. Wambassi here with another quick tutorial for the game Life is Feudal. Today, we're going to be going over charcoal. Now, charcoal is produced by heating up a unit of hardwood billet. Now, why would you use charcoal instead of just using softwood or hardwood billet? Well, there are two main reasons. One, by converting a hardwood billet into charcoal, you get four units of charcoal for every one unit of hardwood billet. This, of course, is adjusted depending on your server settings. But the point is that both charcoal and hardwood billets have the same burn time. Now, converting one hardwood billet into charcoal produces four units of charcoal. So by that math, charcoal is four times as effective as one hardwood billet. Now, the other advantage of using charcoal is that one charcoal has a weight of one unit. One hardwood bullet has a unit of 10. So one charcoal burns the same amount as one hardwood bullet, but weighs a tenth of the weight. So in a way, charcoal burns four times longer and weighs less than half. Okay, so if you don't know how to make charcoal, let me show you how to make it now. Okay, so let me go over a few of the things you're gonna need in order to make charcoal. First off, in order to make charcoal, you're gonna need a kiln, which is the device in front of me. You're going to need to have the skill, construct material preparation at a minimum level of 20 to build a kiln. In order to use the kiln, you're gonna to have to have your construct materials preparation up to level 30. Now, one more added thing, Having your skill up to 30 allows you to manage the kiln. However, if you want to use your bellows, which is highlighted here, you will need to have your skill smelting unlocked. Again, to go over real quickly, in order to manage your kiln and get into it, you have to have your construct materials preparation up to level 30. And in order to be able to use bellows, you need your smelting unlocked. Now, you do not need the ability to use bellows to make charcoal. Being able to light your kiln and keeping it at the minimum level of 500 is sufficient to making charcoal. As you can see, it's starting to heat up already. But if you want to make it faster, you have to have the ability to use bellows. And again, that requires you to have your smelting skill unlocked. Okay, so the only other item you're going to need are hardwood billets. Now, if you don't know where to get those, I'll just go over that briefly. Okay, in order to get hardwood billets, you're going to need two items. One, you're going to need some sort of axe to chop the tree down. Second, you're going to need some sort of a saw in order to process that tree into a hardwood billet. Now, in order to be able to chop down hardwood trees and process them, you're going to need your lodging skill up to level 60, where it says can chop down hardwood trees. So once you have those requirements met, go ahead and right click on your tree, go to lodging and cut down. Now currently there are five trees that will yield hardwood billets. Those are oak trees, elm trees, birch trees, maple trees, and willow trees. Once you've chopped a tree down, go ahead and right click on it, carpentry, saw out a billet. There, your character will continue to yield as many billets as the log will allow. This is an auto-craft sort of thing, and if you leave your character alone, he'll just do it automatically until you run out of log to turn into billet. However, at any point, you can push escape to stop. If you bring up your inventory, you can see that I produce five units of hardwood billet. Okay, so that's how you get the wood. Let's go back to the kiln and make the charcoal. All right, welcome back. Now that we're at the kiln, right-click on it. Construct materials preparation, manage kiln. All right, so go ahead and grab your hardwood billets and go ahead and throw them in. Click on light to light her on. Again, your two options here is you can leave this at 500 degrees and wait for them to warm up. Or you can go ahead and use your bellows to warm them up quicker. Now the downside to using the bellows, of course, will be it'll chew up your fuel faster. So it's up to you on whether you want to wait or use the bellows to make them quicker. One other thing, in order to maximize the amount of charcoal you're going to be able to build, make sure that you completely fill up your kiln to get the most bang for your buck when converting. As you can see, I didn't fill her up. That's only because I'm just showing this as an example. But of course, your hardwood billet consume fuel in order to warm up, especially if you're using the bellows. No sense in wasting all that time when you could be heating up more at one time. 
So just for an example sake, I'm gonna go ahead and use my bellows to heat it up quicker. And as you can see, I've already used up one unit of fuel in doing this process. Okay, so I'm not gonna make you wait as this heats up. I'm gonna go ahead and let this heat up and I'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back. Okay, as you can see, my wood is all heated up. Now, once you're at this stage, go ahead and select the pull out command. As you can see, the option for charcoal is here. Go ahead and highlight that, then push select down here. Boom, and there you can see, I have four units of charcoal. I converted that from one hardwood billet. Now currently, there is no auto craft feature associated with the kiln. So every time you wanna convert one unit over to charcoal, you're gonna to have to do it manually. So the fastest way to do this is to right click on your kiln and under your pull out command, go ahead and right click on that to set it as default. Then you can just left click, select, select, make another one, then select it again, select, select, and there you go. If I bring my inventory up again, you'll see now I have 12 units of charcoal because I've successfully converted three units of hardwood billet into charcoal, which one unit will produce four charcoal. Okay, like I stated before, charcoal is significantly lighter than the hardwood billet, yet they both burn for the same amount of time when used as fuel. As you can see here, I have one unit of charcoal. It says its weight is one stones. When I move over to the hardwood billet, I have a quantity of one, and yet its weight is 10 units of stones. So, like I said, both burn for the same amount of time, yet this one is a tenth of the weight of the other. Then there's the fact that one of these will convert into four of these. So again, less than half the weight, but burns four times longer. Another quick tip, once you have some charcoal made, when you go to produce more charcoal, use your charcoal as your fuel source. That way, you can add more hardwood billets in and have more room in your kiln, like so. So when converting your hardwood billet, you should not need more than 10 charcoal in your kiln. That will leave 190 units or 19 hardwood billets you can throw in and convert into charcoal at one time. And those 19 billets will convert into what? 76 units of charcoal? And that's a lot of fuel to be burning. So definitely worth the time to convert the hardwood billets into charcoal. And that's all there is to making charcoal. All right, guys, I hope that information helped you out. Like always, if these tutorials are helping you out, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Heck, if you got the time, watch an ad and click on one. Hey, and if you're interested in playing with us, we do have a dedicated server up. The name of the server is Wambassi's Clans of Cirrus. Come join us and we'll have lots of fun. Can't get enough of us? Check out some of our Let's Play videos. They're absolutely stupid fun. It's hilarious. You'll enjoy. And this month on Twitch, we're going to be playing Wreckfest, Alien Isolation, Shadow of Mordor, Evil Within, and Destiny. So come join us for some streaming fun at twitch.tv slash Wimbassi. Hey, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Wimbassi. And join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Wimbassi. All right, guys. Until next tutorial, happy gaming and stay frosty.